Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. The weekend comes, my cycle hums, ready to race to you. These days are all happy and free. Happy days. These days are all share them with me. Oh, baby. Goodbye, gray sky, hello, blue. There's nothing can hold me when I hold you. So right, you can't be wrong. Rocking and rolling all week long. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. Saturday, what a day. Grooving all week. What's up everybody, Jamie Michael here with my review of the new 2017 Adidas Pure Boost. Now I know there's plenty of casual reviews out there, but we are here today to test the Pure Boost performance as a running shoe. Let's start with the upper. Adidas uses a knit upper that is soft to the touch and allows the shoe to fit around your foot nicely. At first I thought it was a prime knit upper, but it's a bit sturdier, which was nice because my foot stayed in place when making sharp turns. One noticeable thing about the upper that I wanted to point out is the tongue. Adidas tried something different. They call it a burrito style tongue. I've never seen this before in a running shoe, but it feels secure and I really didn't notice it much when running. I just thought it was an interesting design choice. On the side, you have these two plastic counters. I believe they're supposed to help secure the heel, but I wasn't sure. Nonetheless, it didn't really bother me. Adidas Boost is still one of the best cushioning setups in the running game. It is plush, but still springs you back with great energy return. Adidas gave the Pure Boost almost as much boost as the Ultra Boost. The boost is actually wider than the platform of the shoe, which with the wider base helped maintain some of the stability of the shoe, which is a good thing. Unlike any other Adidas running shoe, the Pure Boost allows you to step directly on the Boost foam. This style reminds me of the Adidas NMD runners, which is a casual shoe. Out of curiosity, I tried fitting in an insole from another Adidas running shoe, and it worked just fine. It added just a bit more cushioning, which I preferred, but either way, it felt just fine. The Pure Boost came with rope laces and flat laces. I like the option of having both. There's also an option to use the extra lace loops. By using these, it just gives the shoe that much better of fit. The outsole of the shoe is a thick rubber. Although it is not continental rubber like the Ultra Boost, it seemed a bit more thicker. It actually wraps around the medial side of the shoe around the arch, which seemed to help with the arch support. When running on roads, the shoe excelled. The Boost continued to absorb the shock of every step. On grass, it was okay. I noticed on wet grass that outsole rubber didn't grip as much as I would like, but it still excelled as a road shoe. The knit upper feels great. The boost is amazing. If I could only wear one Adidas shoe to run in, I'll probably go towards the energy boost or the ultra boost. But to be fair, how many actual running shoes do you know can look this good and still function as a great running shoe? Well, whatever you come up with, just make sure you add this one to the list. Well done. All right, y'all, I want y'all to subscribe to the channel. I've been holding down day after day, week after week. Please subscribe. All this running, it's hot. I know it's February, but I'm in Texas. It's like 85, 90 degrees in February. I'm hot. Saturday, my day off, I work full time. So, y'all subscribe, like the video, share the video, and by the way, if you click right here, we got a link to my giveaway that if you like that video, comment that video. The video gets 50 likes, 50, 100 views. Mm -hmm. I will give away of these babies. These, get it. These right here. All right, y'all. Jimmy to Michael. Jimmy Reviews. Subscribe. We out. Oh, a dog. A dog. Yeah. Hey, watch this guy's video. He's good. Flawless victory.